RuneScape 3. The original RuneScape. A game once loved by many, through controversial updates and changes. Now a game loved by few, and hated by most. In this series, with a fresh account and a new start, I want to explore what the game has to offer, focusing on differences to old school RuneScape, and what's changed from that game we all used to love. Let's together see if the game has hidden gems and interesting content that the average person won't find without playing the game. And what's the appeal to keep playing this game for so many people? Is it refused to change and start over? Or is there something we're all missing? Let's find out together. So what's up guys, welcome back to another episode. So for this episode, I'm literally going to start off by just mining. I want to get my mining up, it's something I've been meaning to do for a while. And there is 94. Just finished the statue for the fourth time, meaning we can build a little bit more in our house. If I'll ever fully finish this and have it fully built in my house, I very much doubt. Uh, but with mining, it does give you some of the rocks and it just makes it a little bit easier to finish. The mining grind has been going strong. We are nearly there. Just one final stretch. That is 98. Probably should hit 99 tomorrow. Okay, guys. So I've just got back from RuneFest and uh, I won the gnome. Thank you very much. Um, but I did plan on getting 99 mining at RuneFest. But I just didn't get a chance to do it because I was just so busy. But I guess we'll just get it now instead. All right, lads. I think we hit this rock and that should be it. Bam! 99 mining has been hit. I've actually quite enjoyed this grind. It's uh, It's been pretty chill, pretty relaxed. I definitely prefer mining here over on RS3. And we've got so many ores to work with now. Um, my next step really is probably going to just be uh, sorting the ores out. We're currently 85 smithing, so let's get all our bars made. And there is the 99 mining cape. Looks really skinny. I think it's probably just what I'm wearing. Yeah, it is. Um, not, not a bad looking cape, it's alright. Boys, I'm just a sucker for the retro. 99 mining. Man, I've never had 99 mining. I'm kind of close-ish on old school, and I spent way longer <laughs> mining on old school than I did on here. Uh, but it's nice to have it, man. Oh, glad that's done. And uh, probably one of the uh, lamest skill coat cape emotes. We just hit a rock, and... Uh, that, that's it. Um, what? Alright, we completely forgot to do our oyster, so let's see if we get lucky. No, pretty bad. I don't think I got any resets either, but I'm so behind on monthlies, weeklies, everything. Uh, dailies, been away at room fest, so time to catch up. There's uh, the first smithing level, purely from making bars. Um, probably not going to do this for much longer, but if we take a look here, I think I literally almost have everything for masterwork other than the elder bars because i don't have the level to make them but we're going to be pretty set when we get 99 so i made this hammertron to use while smithing it's just an invention item it's just a jazzed up hammer you just use some parts on it with a hammer in the invention guild so we got ourselves rapid which basically has a five percent chance to make smith an item a little bit quicker tinker kind of similar it does have a chance to double your progress and gives 25 percent bonus xp uh, when you make it proc and there we go, we have got 87, should make uh, this a little bit smoother. So they got this event going at the moment, which is uh, for charities to do with mental health. I think this is a very nice touch. It's not over the top, there's just a couple of rewards. Um, there's some obviously some Solomon store stuff and that, but I think all the money goes to the charities. I haven't actually fully read it, um, but I'd have to say the questions are a very nice touch. So you can come out every day and answer one question. They're very educational. Uh, some are about the company themselves, but some are about mental health in general. And uh, yeah, big support of this. There's always a big stigma around mental health and not many people do really know too much about it. So yeah, the question's very good. This, uh, this Lootscape stream, we've managed to get a Saradomin Murmur and we just got a Hood of Substigation. I believe that is a unique I needed for the log as well. Just got ourselves an armadillo helmet. How much is this worth? 2.6 mil. Hell yeah. Okay, guys. So the next quest on our list is contact. It exists in old school, but I'm hoping, hoping on RS3, 
it's not as tedious, but we'll find out. Let's go. Yeah, this quest's definitely easier on here. The traps don't hit nearly as hard. The NPCs in here I can literally one-shot as well, which is nice. And there we go, quest complete. So much easier on here. Legit took me 15 minutes to finish that quest. Um, it's trying to automatically make me do the next one, which is dealing with scarabs. Obviously a dead end over on old school, but this is Desert Quest 4. So I'm going to be doing this quest, dealing with the scarabs. I thought might as well, because it's only 2008. There are an additional, at this point, four quests in this series, because they're labelled uh, Desert Series. But they go all the way till like 2017, which is the latest one. So I'm just going to do this one for now, and then we'll get back to doing quests in order. Whose idea was it to turn a quest into a fucking math problem? It just give me maths. What's 494 divided by 4? Do you know what the answer is? Who fucking cares? This quest is slowly becoming the worst quest I've ever done. There's like a puzzle here, and it's kind of like match in pairs, like the old game where you'd flip sign to match pairs, but it's in sets of three, and it's runes. But you only get limited tries, and every time you have to restart the puzzle, my god. If you ever have to do this, screenshots, 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 man. That quest was painful, is the only way I can put it. It was absolute painful. Um, I don't know what it is about Desert Quest. Is it just me, or all Desert Quests? absolutely terrible and annoying and puzzly but thank god that's done we won't be continuing this sort of story until like 2010 thank fuck so next quest up is grim tales don't think it's actually needed for any other quests but let's get it done i've always enjoyed this quest it's like a mixture of jack and the beanstalk and rapunzel but instead of hair we have this man's fuck off beard that we can climb <laughs> beard game on point that's one uh, ugly motherfucker right there, man. And there we go, Grim Tales done. Absolutely nothing useful whatsoever unlocked from that quest, but you know, it's done. So next quest we're gonna do is Back to My Roots. Not really needed for anything other than One Foot in the Grave mini quest, which we'll probably do straight after. So the bulk of this quest just seems to be a maze. Um, this pretty complicated maze, you gotta climb up stuff, under stuff, cut your way through stuff, but I think that's pretty much it. That's like the majority of the quest. But if you do do this quest, don't make the mistake I did. Bring a wieldable hatchet, like a dragon hatchet, because you can actually hurt this with a hatchet. I thought the one on my tool belt would work, so now I'm here punching it to death. But that quest there actually gives some hefty XP. 24k farming, 40k woodcutting, 23 slayer, 15k agility. Um, that is pretty decent uh, XP there. We got ourselves 92 agility off that as well, halfway to 99. So what this mini quest is, is kind of like a part two to Hand in the Sand. So during Hand in the Sand, you find a, du a dude's hand, right? And in that last quest, you find another hand. And now I have a foot and a torso. Uh, apparently the body's been dumped around here and you just kill these guys. Um, and they have a chance to drop in a piece of the body. Yeah, there's a left arm. <laughs> just This dude's a fucking jigsaw right now. Uh, yeah, we're just uh, getting his body back together and that's pretty much the uh, the quest. And there we go, it's done. The body is finally to rest, and the murderer is finally in jail, I guess? So some unfinished business from the last video was we was trying to do the Wilderness Diary. From looking at your comments, I think the most likely problem was is that I was in a group, but I'm not in a group now, let's hope that fixes it. So it would not let me attack it with a, a single longsword, and I think one of the problems could have been that I was using it offhand. So I'm going to grab a black two-hander and see if that works. Alright, we can uh, only hope this works. Come on, please work. Yes, finally! Wilderness Hards complete. Let's go get our reward. Okay, so that is the hard complete. So now if I use the guy to teleport to the abyss, there's a chance he'll teleport me directly to the center. Um, if I was going to make runes that way, I guess that could be handy. Um, I have the ability to unnote at the Chaos Temple, so prayer training, I can note all my bones unnote and use them straight away. Uh, a shortcut to the Air Obelisk will probably never use it. The Wilderness Herb Patch will now never be diseased, which is kind of nice because them seeds are really fucking expensive. They're like 50k each. Uh, ability to use the Ancient Obelisks and pick the, de the actual destination. Obviously, I could use them before, but I can pick exactly where they're going rather than spamming them and hoping for the best. And the Wilderness Home Teleport is now a quick telly, which is pretty useless to me. 
because that always used quick tellies. But that's that done. Hard complete. Let's have a look at the sword. Um, just looks a bit wider. I don't think it had that stuff before, but yeah, done. The lamps you get as well are actually busted. I think they're 77k. Let's have a look. Yeah, 77k. I'm going to chuck that one on Herblore. And probably put this one on summoning. There we go. Nice. Free XP, that is. That's for sure. So for the next quest, I'm actually going to jump ahead to 2011 and do one piercing note. I did this quest on Darkscape and it was actually a really fun quest. So I'll be interested to do it. And it's all like voiced over and music. So let's check it out. I can see her dancing barefoot, there are flowers in her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. To the sound of flutes and drums, she took my hand and danced with me. And we kept dancing once the music went away. So this quest here is basically like murder mysteries, you gotta figure out who the killer is killing off all the sisters. <gasps> well that's uh, coming to the end of the quest, they've done a very good job with uh, this place like art wise, it just looks really good but this should be the end now. And there we go, quest complete. The main thing here is the ability to make the Illuminate God Book. So I spoke previously on this before but the God Book on here, they're actually pocket slots with this quest done now, you can charge it with the pages and it gives you some amazing effects on the god books. They're actually really useful for endgame PVM. They're just quite expensive to use. So don't forget after the quest, you need to be wearing six Saradomin items. So I've got the robes on that I was wearing previously, which you got from the quest. A Saradomin cloak and a Saradomin arrow. And we should be able to uh, take this. Let's see what happens. If you don't take it, this thing can literally uh, one-shot you. Oh, look at the damage. Okay, I must be doing something wrong. So this is like way more complicated than it needs to be, but it turns out there's way more stuff I needed to do. It needed to be on a standard spell book, which we've done. Uh, it needs to be on standard prayers, which we are. Have 100% run energy, which we do. So we'll walk uh, an empty inventory, which we do now. Uh, Ghost Peak Amulet, Ring of Visibility. Let's see if we've nailed it this time. There's a lot of checks to get this thing. Please. Okay, there we go. Oh, that has a weird voice. Finally, there we go. We got 50k XP. And we got this beast of a thing there. Apparently you can play it as well. Let's try it. <laughs> all that all that hustle just to get that weird thing. But yeah, that's that done. Um so probably look there whoa, there's the the spirit guy. Cool. Um, so we're probably gonna wrap the video up there before we end it I just want to give a shout out to my twitch if it wasn't for twitch and the support I get over there I wouldn't be able to do this full time So I appreciate if uh, if you're not already if you can go over there and give it a follow um, I'll put it in the top comment and thanks for the support and a massive thanks for uh, getting me to win that golden gnome as well Everyone who uh, voted for me and stuff, but catch you in the next one laters